Number 65. To increase intensity of a wave by a factor of 50, by what factor should the amplitude be increased? All right. So on a question like this, I like to uh, take a look at what they're trying uh, to have me relate to one another. Basically, I'm trying to relate, they're having me relate the amplitude to the intensity. So what I'd like to do first is uh, just figure out a formula that has intensity in it. And by figure it out, I mean just memorize it, right? What What is the formula of intensity? Intensity of a wave is going to be equal to the power of that wave divided by the area over which that power is applied. So what I realize now is that the intensity is going to go up by a factor of 50, okay? Now, what I have to then try to make the connection uh, for is I have to make the connection uh, for the amplitude somewhere in this part of the formula, the power over the area. I have to consider where would the amplitude be found here? Well, first, where is amplitude found in some of our formulas? I mean, most notably, you, it, it, it's in a few places, but most notably, uh, it's going to be in the elastic potential energy formula, right? That X there basically represents the amplitude, right? The amplitude, the amount from the amount of stretch from equilibrium, all right? So what I realize is that well, okay, so I, I understand that in this equation, potential energy, I'm just going to call it energy for now, all right? That energy inside that spring is equal to one half kx squared. I realize that this is the amplitude. So now I have to fit the x, that is. Now I have to figure out, well, can I, is there anything in this formula now that I can relate to power? I know I can't do it like directly with the amplitude, doesn't make sense to me, but I'm thinking, well, I have energy here and I have power here. What was the relationship between those two? Well, power is simply the energy per time, right? It's a watt, it's a joule per second. So what I can do here is in my power, in my intensity formula here, I can just substitute, instead of writing power, I'm going to write the energy over time, right? And then that has to be multiplied by the area in the denominator, right? So now I realize, oh my goodness, look, now I have my energy right now I have energy and here's energy okay it doesn't matter if it's kinetic potential whatever it depends on what you're talking about so now I can make my substitution here all right I can plug in that into whoops into this formula there we go and now I get the intensity will be equal to one half force constant multiplied by the amplitude squared divided by time times the area now the only thing that's changing in this problem Right, they, they, we have to assume the force constant is the same. We have to assume there's no change in time. There's no change in area. So basically, what I can do, I, I sometimes I like to show this with ratios and divisions. I'm just going to do it simply. Just get rid of it. Just get rid of it. This is the basic relationship that the intensity is proportional to or equivalent to uh, roughly everything else, maintaining uh, consistency. Just x squared. This is not a you know this is not a formula that you would calculate, but this is the relationship between the two. So if intensity goes up by a factor of 50 now, now I can type in my 50, and then I want to figure out what is, what is the amplitude change by, look, I have a formula now. What do I have to do? I just got to take the square root of both sides. So take the square root of 50, and that's 7.07, .07, and that's it. 7.07 .07 is equal to x. And this is how much the, this is not the value, this is how much the amplitude would have to change. Or increase by it would have to increase by a factor of 7.07 .07. so about seven times thank you guys for tuning in appreciate it very much please remember to subscribe and we'll see you soon take care